<laughs> I love having egg friends. <laughs> We're so weird. Help. Have I ever had too much help? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> my, my help, my children have mixed up the eggs. Okay. So okay. it's not it's not as nice and neat and organized as I wanted them to be. Okay, let me have the bag. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey. Hey. Let's see what. <laughs> Ooh, those are green. Oh my goodness. That one cracked. That one didn't make the trip. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Lunch. You may not even want those. You can just eat those. Oh, that one's broken too. Catherine did it. Catherine did it. Don't even want to So what are these? These are just hatchery quality cuckoo marins. <gasps> oh. The roost, so could, the roost, they, could they throw a darker egg then? When the hens, per, um, oh, what I have learned with the, the marins or morons, however you say how do you say it? Morons. Morons, fine. You're fancy. When the hens first start to lay, that's when their eggs are darkest. Yeah. And then as they progress, they get lighter. And these are almost three-year-old hens. Okay. But so they, they were, were they were darker. And I have a couple hens that lay these pretty speckled eggs. I like those speckled. The rooster is a golden cuckoo marins, so he's a creel color with the gold and the yellow colorations on him. And some of the hens are too. And they're just kind of mixed. Some have feather feet and some don't. Okay. So some came from cackle hatchery, and those are just like the, the, the lower quality as far as the marins go. They're still perfectly healthy chickens. They're wonderful layers. They lay an egg every day and have all winter long. The ones hatchery quality. Yeah. The they're ones, not breeder. Right. The ones from Myers hatchery, they're the ones with the feather feet, and they're, those are the golden cuckoo marins. They're the the creel color that have the pretty red colorations on them. And they're just, the rooster is a, a golden cuckoo. Okay. Uh, a French golden cuckoo. And so that's these. So I brought those just so you can fill up your incubator. And these are all... What happened is I have two different pins that lay blue eggs. One is the olive eggers and some of the olive eggers. These are the chicks like you just got uh -huh. that I bought last year that lay these pretty dark green colored eggs. They are pretty. And so these are a cross between the blue Americanas and the blue copper marins. Mm. And so the ones that I know for a fact came out of this pen I've labeled as olive eggers. Okay. The rooster is a Svartona. Oh, that's so cool. And so he's the all black, like the A.M. Samani, uh, but they're smaller. What's the difference between the A.M. Samani and Svartona? A.M. Samani. I've been wondering that. A.M. Samani's come from Indonesia, uh -huh. so they're not as hardy during the winter time, especially. Okay. The Svartonas, they're a little bit smaller, more compact. Okay. But they're still all black. Okay. Inside their mouth and in toes, everything. All Supposedly right. they're meat. Of course, I've never cut one open. But the. You know I will. You, well, you probably will. <laughs> if you have extra. There's going to be some roosters. Go yeah. <laughs> but the thing about this cross is that the the pullets that hatch from these eggs when they grow up into hens, they should still lay a green or a blue colored egg. Mm -hmm. But they're going to have black skin. Oh, that's gonna be and so it should be it, sh it is supposed scientifically okay I haven't hatched I haven't hatched enough to verify this but theoretically this should be a sex linked breeding the roosters that hatch from this should still have the light flesh colored skin and the hen should have the dark skin that's so cool and so I think that's cool that's really cool. I like that. I have the other pen that is just hatchery quality Easter eggers, all different colors, all mixed up, but they're in with the frizzle rooster. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. Yeah, and so I think a frizzled Easter egger would be really cool. Yeah, there's a girl um, locally in Coweta County that actually has frizzle, frizzle Easter eggers. Uh, hatching eggs available right now, and I was like, whoa, somebody else is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I'd like to have some. But um, I have I have 12 Easter egger hens, and those are just 
hatchery quality from right. Cackle Hatchery. I got them from the feed store last year. And they're laying lots of eggs. The rooster came from um, a frizzled toe bunt Polish that crossed up with one of my blue lace red wine dot hens. And I have two roosters in that pen. They're brothers and they're just absolutely beautiful. Oh, you'll have to send me pictures of them. Yeah. And so I have some eggs that I know definitely came from those and those are marked like that. What has happened is my kids have mixed up the colored eggs. Okay. These, these came yesterday and I know for a fact that these are what they're labeled as. These that are labeled faintly with the little question mark, they're either from the Svarthona pen or they're from the Frizzled pen. Okay. So they're going to hatch one or the other. I okay. just don't, I can't but tell I, you But I'll be able to tell because it'll have Frizzled pens. Right, right. Yeah. These are from, I, these didn't get labeled. These are from the olive egg or pen. Okay. And you can tell they don't all lay olive eggs. Right. Unfortunately. But, but the daddy The daddy is a smart home. Huh? Throw oh, a no. olive egg or no, he's a smart home. Huh? Yeah. Okay. The baby should also lay a colored egg. You shouldn't have a brown egg or a white egg out of here. Okay. And then you oh, get yeah. these. Yeah. I'm excited about these. Not a whole bunch, but it's, That's it's eight. what we collected this week. So these are the Celadon quail. Um, these are from the same batch that I showed you. It's not from the one that has the purple feather on its head, but it's from the same hatchery. Okay. So there's a possibility that we get a purple feather somewhere in their genetics. You awesome. never know. But the Celadon, the blue eggs, is what I was after. Could you imagine a purple quill that laid blue eggs? I, that I, would, be I would, awesome. would be I would be in heaven. And then um, these are just... Um, Either Americana or Easter Egger. And then I think these might be cream leg bar. Or at least this one is. This one is the what this is the shape that she laid last yeah. year and the color she laid last year when I caught her. So, um, the shapes, you know, that's a little sorry, they're not perfectly clean. See that shape isn't quite the same. So right. it might be one of our other Easter Eggers. That's okay. And yeah, then that's, that's a perfect. naked neck rooster. Oh on, yeah, I love those. On all you know I love and he's those. and he came out of a green egg. Okay. So that is awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love having egg friends. <laughs> We're so weird. Hello. Who is that? Hello, ladies. You trying to fix it? <laughs> Our chicken tractors are pretty old at this point. <laughs> and they've had dogs jump on them and goats jump on them so they're a little caved in right now but i was trying to show you that we've got some new ducks these are some muscovies from daybird aviaries robert daniela and Catherine came to pay us a visit and we had an amazing time with them and they brought us some ducks and a few other things as well another awesome gift that robert brought us it's a huge pile of pellets because we are the Pallet Homestead now, apparently, because we love the way we've been able to build so many things with these wonderful pallets. Something else Robert brought us. Cheep cheeps. Baby chicks. We got five beautiful little olive eggers. Hello, baby chick. So excited about them.